one of the key sessions at Clinical Nutrition Week every year is the late-breaking clinical trial session where we present what we believe to be some of the most important and most field-changing research that's been done over the last year, uh, whether these be new publications or data that's never been presented. Uh, these, are, these are key trials that, that everyone should know. And this year, we have as good or perhaps better than we've ever had before. We have a really exceptional group of trials. Uh, we have the Pepinic trial, the large pediatric TPN trial uh, done by Greg Vandenberg in Belgium. This is a multi-center trial done around the world looking at pediatric TPN administration and critical care. We have the NURSE trial, which is one of the largest oral nutrition supplement trials, over 75 centers, over 650 patients, showing reductions in mortality from oral nutrition supplement use in the 90 days following hospitalization for key diagnoses like heart attack, like um, other vital pneumonia and other vital diagnoses following uh, hospitalization. So this is very exciting data for our field. Uh, we have a new trial that's not been presented before. We don't know the results. I don't even know the results. Um, supplemental Parental Nutrition Trial from Emma Ridley and the group uh, in Australia, the, the ANZIC's Critical Care Group and, and, and the trials group there. And then I will be talking about the data we're quite excited about. So it's a multi-center uh, exploration of the microbiome in the ICU. We, have long known that we're all more bacterial than we are human, and we know that bacteria make up um, about 99% of the genetic material in our body and, and more than half the cells that make us human. And so we are looking at what happens when we become ill, critically ill, what happens to that microbiome and the dysbiosis that creates. And so I'm talking about our new publication, The Extreme Dysbiosis of Critical Care. And then finally, we're hearing a report from the uh, malnutrition initiative that Aspen and other nutrition societies around the world have embarked on to help us further refine our definitions of malnutrition in a global sense. And so we're very excited for this new data to be presented and I look forward to moderating it tomorrow and it's been a real joy to put together.